I, I can tell uh, the House, Mr. Speaker, that this is a subject that raises the, the grave concern of the entire uh, British people. The trade in, in illegal wildlife, illegal wildlife trade, uh, is running about £1.7 billion worth, and of course it's associated with many other criminal activities. That is why we are having a global summit on that very matter in October in London, uh, which I think will attract the interest of the world. Order, order. This is very unseemly. The Honourable Lady is putting a pertinent inquiry to the Foreign Secretary, to which I know he will wish to listen undisturbed. Jo Swinson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Amidst reports that Russia is hacking into the smartphones of NATO troops and the ongoing revelations about the Russian online involvement in the US election, what is the Foreign Secretary's assessment of the cyber threat posed to this country by Russia and what is his government doing about it? Good question. We uh, are continually monitoring uh, Russian activity in uh, that sphere, and I can uh, tell the Honourable Lady that the Russians have been up to uh, all sorts of mischief in uh, many countries, but uh, so far uh, we cannot yet uh, pinpoint any direct Russian uh, cyber attacks on this country. It, it, it really, you know, this is a, obviously the, the, we we'll have to be very careful about this because we want to, we want them released. And but when when I look at the and I have raised this case many times now with uh, Javad Zarif and uh, uh, my Iranian counterpart. When you look at what Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe was was doing, it just you know she she was simply teaching people uh, journalism, as I understand it, at the, the very limit. She was and. His office rang to correct other parts of the record, completely incidental parts of the record, but still refuses to correct the record about what he said to the Foreign Affairs Committee. Will he do so now? Because otherwise, frankly, he will have learnt nothing from this. Will he finally take the opportunity today to state simply and unequivocally for the removal of any doubt, either here or in Tehran, that he simply got it wrong. Yeah. When the Secretary of State got involved in her case, it might make things better. Yeah. Unfortunately, in this situation, it has made it very much worse. Does my right honourable friend accept that this has not been his finest hour? My constituent, Richard Radcliffe, wrote in the Evening Standard, My complaint is not that her imprisonment has become a diplomatic incident this past week. It is that it wasn't for the 19 months that yeah. came before. Yes. So could he, for the sake of Ms Zakari Radcliffe, just say unequivocally, for the record, I got it exactly. wrong? Exactly. The British government has no doubt that Mrs Zakari Radcliffe was in Iran on holiday, and that was the sole purpose of her visit. As I said in the House last week, my remarks on the subject before the Foreign Affairs Select Committee could and should have been clearer. And I acknowledge that the words I used were open to being misinterpreted, and I apologise. I apologise to Mrs. Zagari Ratcliffe and her family if I have inadvertently caused them any further anguish. Right Honourable Friend carry on his Palmerston-like approach to defending British subjects overseas that is one of the first duties of Her Majesty's Government, and does it concern him as it concerns me that the treatment of Mrs Zagari Ratcliffe in Iran, barbarous as it is, is being given succour by the socialists opposite? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm I think my, 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 my honourable friend, uh, I'm afraid, uh, I think underestimates the, underestimates the motives of the, of the party opposite, and I prefer, I prefer to think that they, they are actuated solely, I prefer to think that they are actuated solely by a concern uh, for all our consular cases uh, in Iran, and particular for the safe return of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe.